Hey y'all, what is up? Welcome back. It is me, Rachel. In today's video, I'm going to be washing my hair. I'm going to be showing you all what I do for wash day. So before we get into the video, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. And if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, and share with everybody you know. I'm about to get my hair done today. And I'm doing a content day with my stylist, Allie. And so I need to come with my hair washed. I'm actually dreading washing my hair because I literally hate it. Like, I don't really wash my hair that often. I usually only get it washed when I get my hair done or when I am at the salon because it's just so, 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 so much. Like, I mean, wash day is like a lot easier than it was when I was in Blue Natural, but I'm not gonna lie, like it is still a beast. But I'm gonna show you all what I am going to wash with. This is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mephora Oil Intensive Hydration Shampoo with fig extract and baobab oil. I have high hopes for this shampoo because I am a avid and loyal user of the Intensive Hydration Hair Mask from Shea Moisture. This same line, the Manuka Honey line, I've been using this for years before I even started my log. This deep conditioner is just so good. Like it's just really, it literally is intense hydration. It's really good. It smells really good. I've gone through jars and jars of this. One of my friends actually got me this for my birthday. So I have another jar waiting on me. I think that they like recently renovated this or improved it because it says new and approved creamy lather so we'll see what that lather is about because i like my shampoos to lather like and that's an issue i typically have like washing my hair myself i don't ever really get that good of a lather like i don't know if it's the products that i have been using prior or if it's just the technique i do like I don't really know, but I always struggle with the lather. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. I started off this wash by dividing my hair into two sections. I find that washing my hair in sections is easier. Um, I started off with these two sections, but then I didn't wash my hair in any other sections for the remainder of the wash. But um, I start by rinsing my hair really good, just getting my hair super soaked, getting those curls out of my head, making sure my hair is soaked because that is the best way for the shampoo to lather and for the shampoo to essentially activate and work. So I'm going in with the Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration Manuka Honey Shampoo that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. As you can see, we have a really creamy lather. And what I forgot to mention at the end of this video is how good this line smells. It smells so good. And not only does it smell good, the smell lingers. So like my hair will smell good for days, if not weeks after using this line. So I just go in, add it to my scalp. I add it directly to my scalp first before I adding the add the shampoo to the rest of my hair. And then I just go in and massage it really well into my scalp and throughout the rest of my locks. So I do that for a few minutes just to make sure I get a really squeaky, I get that really squeaky clean feeling and until I really feel like my locks are clean. I usually go in and shampoo my hair twice, but I was on a time crunch. So 
So I only went and did it once and now I'm rinsing that shampoo out of my hair really good. This is a really important step. Make sure you rinse that shampoo out of your hair. Put your hair directly into the water and just rinse, rinse, rinse until you don't see any suds anymore. It's time for a length check. When I wash my hair, my hair looks so long. It appears so, so, so long. Now I'm going to go in with the intensive hydration mask, this deep conditioner. You can see I'm halfway through the jar because I love it so much. So I just put a good amount into my hand and work it throughout my hair there's no specific tactic or any specific way i do this i just put it in like regular conditioner and i put it in from root to tip and just let it sit After I put the conditioner off throughout my hair, I let it sit for maybe 10 to 15 minutes. At this point, I was drained and exhausted. I needed that 10 to 15 minutes just to sit before I rinsed the conditioner out of my hair. And just like the shampoo, I rinsed my hair until the water was completely clear. I'm finally done. Now it's time to wring the water out of my hair. I take maybe four or five smaller sections and just begin squeezing that water out of my hair because if I don't, the water will just stay there and my hair will never dry. So I make sure to get as much water out as I can before I wrap it in a towel. Hey y'all, this is me after I'm done. When I tell y'all, washing my hair is an extreme sport. It's the trenches and that's why I don't do it. But I will say when I swam this summer, I had to wash my hair myself a lot. So that kind of like um, helped me get a little bit more used to it. A little bit 
yeah more used to it because i was having to do it because i literally had chlorine in my hair i just put my hair up in this towel i know you're supposed to use lint-free stuff or a t-shirt or stuff but you know my hair holds so much water i don't have time for that i need a towel to soak up as much of the water as it possibly can because my hair will stay stay wet for 50 days and 50 nights i want to just show y'all what it looks like before i get ready to go wow it's a lot of hair it's a whole lot of hair so i was doing my checks in the shower but it's a lot but it's mine and i'm so happy honest thoughts about the shampoo this is good this is really really good i had to use a lot i always use a lot of shampoo though um a lot of natural girlies like use more conditioner than they use shampoo but i use so much shampoo way more shampoo than my conditioner i could probably get like one and a half two more uses out of this probably like a good two more uses out of this but i used a lot but it lathered up really good and the lather was not drying the lather was definitely creamy i definitely felt that so they weren't lying i do recommend this i recommend this line together if you have 4c hair that tends to get dry 4c locks that tend to get dry that's me i swear by this stuff and now i swear by this stuff typically i will moisturize my hair with some rose water or I have this like new spray called Made in Locks. I typically would spray my hair with that a little bit after my hair like dries out a little bit. But since I'm going straight to the salon, I'm going to skip that part. And after that, I would typically seal my hair with some oil. I'm going to skip that part because I'm going straight to the hair salon. Um, so I'm going to put this in a shower cap. It's by a brand called As I, it's not As I Am, it's like, it's something like that, but they make jumbo shower caps and they sent me one and it's really really cute this is a shower cap they sent me two um this this color this pattern it's like leafy pattern and also a black i lost the black one i do not know where that is but i'll put my hair up in this before i go so it's not dripping in a car ride that is it for my wash day routine y'all i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what y'all think um if you have any wash day tips for me or for anybody else please drop them in the comments down below i am looking for gems on how to make wash day less of a freaking hassle like i mean this might just be a unique experience for me because i've always hated wash day with my natural hair so like Locks made it better, but not that much better. So if you have any gems, tips, do you wash your hair in the shower or do you wash your hair in the sink? Does the sink make it easier? I've washed my hair in the sink before, um, but I was I was cleaning my sink out yesterday and I got grossed out. So I was like, no, I'm getting in the shower. But um, <laughs> I'm gonna close this video out. Let me know what y'all think. Make sure you like, comment, share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.